July 10th Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other love one another deeply from the heart 1 Peter 1:22 The Christian life is meant to be characterized by love Peter tells us to love one another deeply from the heart The context of this exhortation is the new life we enter into when we are born again We are purified by the blood of Jesus. We walk in obedience to his word and we experience the love of our new family in Christ. These are precious gifts and our response should be to love one another deeply. The phrase actually means to love earnestly, strenuously, fervently. We are called to be fully stretched out, to extend ourselves in love, like a wire that is completely taut and without slack. we are called to love to our full potential without letting up this is the love that is termed agape the love that jesus has for us and that we are to show to one another dear moody shares the following anecdote show me a church where there is love and i will show you a church that is a power in the community in chicago a few years ago a little boy attended a sunday school i know of When his parents moved to another part of the city, the little fellow still attended the same Sunday school, although it meant a long tiresome walk each way. A friend asked him why he went so far and told him that there were plenty of others just as good nearer his home. They may be as good for others, but not for me, was his reply. Why not, she asked. Because they love a fellow over there, he replied. Let love replace duty in our church relations and the world will soon be evangelized. Today's prayer. Lord Jesus, help us to love one another deeply, earnestly, strenuously, fervently.